I I should not be doing this. Welcome everybody. Yeah, today we're gonna be doing another Destiny 2 Reddit read. I did one of these a while ago, maybe like a year and a half ago, back when I first started my channel. Don't go watch it, the quality's awful. All I can remember is I have been scarred for life ever since reading that Destiny 2 Reddit back in a year and a half ago right when Beyond Light came out. And we all know how toxic the community was when Beyond Light came out. So hopefully it's a bit better now. Um, I am, we're gonna check out the Destiny 2 Reddit as well as the Destiny of the Game Reddit. And hopefully it's not super toxic, super cringe, super controversial. I Let's just hope that this goes right. I'm not expecting anything. All I know is I'm probably gonna end this video worse off than I am right now. Yo, that's crazy. Nah, someone's like, people are really gonna make exos in real life. Like by 2060, we might, like our brains might be putting robots and that might be how we live in. New Guardian Games armor set and legendary weapon. Is this real though? Is this fan made or is this real? Cause if this is real, these looks, oh, that's gotta be, that's gotta be, nah, this has gotta be fake. That's gotta be Halo. If this is real though, that's sick. I just hope it doesn't cost, you know, $20 because uh, they do be kind of going crazy with microtransaction nowadays. Me at 1559 power level getting another repeat pinnacle I don't need. Ah, feels bad. Everyone, everyone goes through it though, except for that one friend. We all have one friend that's lucky as hell that just gets everything they want. The complainers are wrong. Glaives are amazing in a high end PVE. Without even seeing this clip, I just know he's lying. Glaives are ass, I'm sorry. I still no, still no, because the fact that you have to hit so many shots just to charge it up. Like, like he's doing this with the glaive, but just think all you got to do is put on an unstop pulse, tap him a little bit, and then just go in with a linear. Like that fight lasted four times as long just because you wanted to be fancy with the glaive. I still don't believe it. No, glaives are still dog meat and artwork for a friend. What do you think? Yo, she kind of bad though. What did I do to deserve this? Please be good. What? Where did he cut? Wait, was that so? Was that solo grandmaster? Yo, you've ne that name has never been more fitting ever in his entire life. That wasn't a solo grandmaster, bro. Ah, oh, I feel so bad for you, bro. This wait, did someone make a comic for? Nah, what? I ain't gonna read it, but still, a comic for this is sick. Oh. Perfectly timed Titan flex leads to endless engrams. Yo, that was satisfying. Hold one more time. Oh shit, one more time. Nah, that you couldn't have timed that better. You're pushing your luck, pal. You're pushing your luck, pal. Oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't even read it. I just looked at the video. Though. <laughs> it's actually a funny meme too. When did this happen? <laughs> nah, that's fucking great. Make master mode actually hard. Spam the fuck out of champions, but yo, this is facts. Why does why does like the champions were cool when they first came out because that was really the first time we had like hard stuff. But now, like, they just spam them way too much, bro. Way too much champions. Make it like, like, yeah, well, this person says the legendary campaign was a great example of difficult without a shit ton of champions. Perfect, perfect me. Am I just unlucky or dumb? Probably both. Oh, this quality is awful. Holy shit. Okay, okay, if it's just this person teleported, that happens to everyone. That, okay, that happens to everyone, though. Not the train part. You just got shit on. Yo, is this made out of colored pens? Did he like hand draw this? If this is hand drawn, that is insane. Yo, people are too talented, bro. 
All I know how to do is digital stuff. I can never, I can't draw stuff by hand. This is amazing. <laughs> I already know where this is going. <laughs> what? Where's the door hole? It goes right there. See, I drew it with a magic marker. <laughs> yeah. You were supposed to cut it out with the power saw. Dude, I'm gonna. Oh, really? Yes. So go get the power saw. Okay, I will. <laughs> Yeah, this is too perfect. I see the problem. Oh, oh do ya? <laughs> it's so good, bro. <laughs> no, that is amazing. That give that movie for the week. Chroma is back, baby. So this is real. When did when did these did these pictures get leaked or something? Where did this come from? Either way, that is dope. IRL Lucent Moth? Hell no, that is nightmare fuel. Bro, is this thing real? Bro, is this real? That's... That is not... No. Okay, well... I think that was enough of the r slash Destiny 2. Honestly, it was a lot more memes than expected. But now, I have a feeling the actual... So this is Bungie's actual Destiny 2 Reddit. This one's just fan-made. I believe this one is by them. I have a feeling this is where all the controversial takes are going to be. And I'm scared because I'm going to have to give my opinion on them and probably make a lot of people either hate me or agree with me. But I do have some really weird takes. So let's get started. Why don't Shanks have a crit spot? That is facts. Now, I mean, I feel like it's too late in the game for them to add crit spots to Shanks. But what this person is saying on high end content is just too difficult to kill them. And I agree, especially at uh, the end of graphs of avarice or whatever that shank during the boss fight that thing just eats way too many bullets without a crit spot it's ridiculous honestly 801 should get a reputation system as it means for player to earn new armor mods every rank up would theoretically award a new armor mod that the players has not earned as well as maybe a random world loot armor piece i, I honestly I, I like her system now where it's you it, it, you get on daily and she's selling two different mods actually i think it might be four now i could be wrong but selling different mods and you just gotta hope that she's selling ones you don't have i kind of like it like that i don't i don't think it should she should just be a hand me out in terms of mods if that makes sense now with this being said though i do wish there was another way to earn mods but i don't think this is how it should be i played my three thousandth Damn, why did I say 3,000th? Why am I talking like Mike Tyson? I played my 3,000th. That, nah, that word is too hard to say. Gambit match over the weekend, and I've got some words to say. First of all, playing 3,000 Gambit matches in one weekend is ridiculous. Gambit is my game mode. I love it. I'm not even going to read the rest. You saying you love Gambit automatically makes that a bad take. If Darcy is going to stay a heavy weapon, it should gain adaptive munitions and the ability to stun any of the three champion types. Makes sense lore-wise with the weapon, right? It studies the enemy and finds their weaknesses. Huh. It could require keeping a champion in your sights for a few seconds until it scans them, and then you can trigger the appropriate stun. That champion mod would last on the weapon until you scan a different champion if you die at a reset. That's kind of an interesting idea, because, I mean, it, it definitely does make sense. It fits the gun. What I think that's too broken, obviously, I don't think you should have one gun that covers every champion type. But then again, though, the Darcy's kind of bad, so you would be giving up a, a heavy weapon. But e either way, I don't know. The Darcy needs a rework, no matter what. I love the gun. It's very unique, cool looking, but it just sucks. It doesn't do enough damage. So whatever they do to Darcy, they just they need to do something. But this would make sense. But in terms of a sandbox point of view, it would be too broken, in my opinion. Can Assassin's Cowl and Verity's Brow please get ornaments? Honestly, these are super ugly. But we're coming. Ah! I think Assassin's Cow looks kind of cool. I'm sure there are plenty of more exotics to need ornaments. There are. There are. I don't know. There's certain weapons and certain armor pieces that have like eight different ornaments. And then there's others that don't have a single one. I, I do agree with this that we definitely need at least one ornament on every exotic until we start, you know, giving exotics four or five. They, they definitely need more because there, there's a lot out there. Uh, but yeah, that was the Destiny 2 and Destiny the Game Reddit. Honestly, not as bad as last time. Last time was very cursed. The the Destiny 2 Reddit had, had actually some decent memes. Nothing too cringe, nothing too cursed. And then the actual Destiny the Game actually had some good takes. Because last time I saw a lot of just stupid people just being mad, angry, and stuff like that. This one actually had 
some nice quality of life changes that that were being discussed so all in all i i take back what i said earlier in the video i actually enjoyed this this was kind of fun and uh yeah i'm definitely gonna look at the game a bit different now with some of the takes i read if you enjoyed the video please consider subscribing we are super close to a thousand subs by the time i post this i might even have hit 900 so i'm just gonna thank you guys for that please let me know down below if you, if you had any opposite takes as me or if you want to watch me react to anything destiny related in the future and yeah as always we made this far i love your face and i'll be fine ladies and gentlemen have a great rest of your day